now look to Lord Ashnell to close the case for opposition. I'll have the gin and tonic, thank you. Well, I'm delighted to be here again debating in this great chamber and it's always been an extraordinary event for me when I have and so it's great to be back. This is the gentleman who made the speech I want you to remember and I'm very glad that he got the prize for tonight because this is the key point. Let me remind you what this motion actually says. It says that we the decline and fall of the European Union is upon us. It is happening. That's what the proposition says. But not one of them argued that case, because it is unarguable. What they said is, it will happen. We promise you it will happen. One day, it will happen, we hope. The problem is, we've heard all that before, haven't we? Do you remember? Before the last referendum, we were promised it would collapse. At any moment, hurry up, get out, because the whole thing is going to collapse around us. The next thing that will happen in the European elections is that the right wing will sweep across Europe. Boris Johnson said, if you vote to leave, you launch a liberation movement across the whole of Europe. They will rise up against us. None of it, forgive me, allow me to make a little progress and then feel free to come back. None of this, ladies and gentlemen, has happened. Far from anti-European parties rising across Europe, they have seen a catastrophic decline in their support in every European country when they watched Britain go through the process of leaving. Far from the right wing of Thierry's movement in Dutch. Did Wilders win? No, he lost and lost heavily. Did Marine Le Pen, as was confidently promised, win in France? No, a liberal, centrist, international, pro-European, avowedly so, swept France. Did Angela Merkel, who has persuaded her country to take a million refugees, a million from the, Europe, from the Syrian battlefield. We have taken, ladies and gentlemen, not one. Did she lose? No, she won. Yes, she's got a coalition to put together. Frankly, I'd rather we had a coalition dealt with by constitutional means where you decide not to align with somebody than a coalition put together in this country with a right-wing, misogynist, Protestant, nationalist party in Northern Ireland, even before that country has yet got an established peace. <laughs> We've just heard it's self-evident that they're declining. Well, where? Where is it self-evident? The European Union's leaders have recommended to their people that they reject Anglo-Saxon exceptionalism and isolationism in the present age and choose instead European solidarity. And they have been triumphantly returned as a consequence. You know, the European Union, I will, I promise you, give way. Uh, um, I, the, the European Union has understood what we do not the new terms of trade of our existence. They understand that on our eastern borders we have the most aggressive Russian president of all time and on our western borders the most isolationist American president and all around us. Nations now growing up who are stronger economically than we individually can ever be again. And they have taken the right decision to move in favour of solidarity and increase their coordination. It is us in Britain, who have chosen the route of being an isolated cork bobbing away behind other people's ocean liners. And that's their problem? No, it's ours. Where do you see the European Union collapsing? Is their economy going down? No, it is now growing at an accelerated pace. And you saw from the budget yesterday that ours is declining as an accelerated pace. Where is it seen that the European Union are collapsing, declining? Is their productivity declining? No, it's growing. We are at the bottom of the OECD table and our productivity is going down and they're in decline, not us. You know, the truth of it is that you look around you and you can see very easily the euro that 
BIM didn't like very much. Well, it's a stable currency, unlike ours, because of the decision we took, it has dropped 20% in value and inflation is now rising faster than wages. Is that their problem? Who's in decline, then or us? Ladies and gentlemen, the proposition before you is very simple. Let me tell you that in the face of those facts about what the European Union is doing, not at some time in the future, might be, we hope, someday, but today, if you believe that the European Union is declining and falling, when in fact it is our country, having left the European Union, that is declining and falling, as you can see by every symptom now around you. If you can believe that, guys, you can believe anything. <laughs> you know, only if you live in an egocentric, myopic, tunnel vision, cloud cuckoo land <laughs> do you believe that the European Union is declining and falling when it is our beloved country that is declining and falling. Do me a favor, tonight when you vote, bear that in mind.